What's up, Dream Chasers? What's up, Ranch Gang? It's your boy, Kevin Van Voorst, checking in for another video for you guys today. I got some big news about this car right here and some sad news about this car right here. So, make sure you guys chill, grab yourself a Monster or Diet Coke, and DJ, please, hit that intro. Supercharged, 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 supercharged. Before we get into today's video, everybody always asks me about, where's the demon? It's literally right there. Look, I'll touch it just so you know it's real. It's real. So, um, <clears throat> if you guys have not tuned into the channel for a while, I'm waiting on fixing this because one, it's gonna cost like $35,000 to $40,000. And two, I don't wanna put that money into this car yet. I would rather put that money into my new business with David, my brother, the Flashlight Shootout, which is the fastest growing eighth mile race in the country. If you guys have never been, you should go. We've got one coming up on February 27th at Extreme Raceway Park in Dallas. It's a lot of fun. It's eighth mile racing, daily driver, all the way to big tire, giving away $16,000. Anyways, that's why this is sitting here. So everyone always asks, what's going on with the Demon? What's going on with the Demon? Literally nothing. Besides the fact that I had to replace the battery to put it in its current parking position um, next to our awesome Ignite fuel. So shout out to Ignite. Um, but yeah, there's literally nothing going on with the Demon. Um, as far as like I know, I'm gonna hopefully ship it off maybe later this year, but right now, this is not a main concern. What is a main concern is this car right here. So, I have some big news on a lot of fronts with this car. So, um, as you guys know, there was a couple races I was gonna be doing coming up. The big one, which is TX2K, um, I was actually gonna race it our race at XRP, also just for fun. Uh, kind of hype up the event a little bit, <clears throat> but business owner Kev is stepping in to racer Kev. So um, basically, I sold a big piece of this car, um, the supercharger, which I posted yesterday on Instagram, sold this morning. So um, you might be asking yourself, wait a minute, you're selling the supercharger on the car. Yes, no issues with it. FAS did an insane job. I went 157 miles an hour. Now, obviously, that's not just the blower. That's also the tuner. So shout out to ZH Tunes. If you guys need a tuner, he's the only one you should go to. He's the man. So that was sold this morning. Uh, I haven't taken it off yet, obviously, because I just sold it. <clears throat> it's going to go to California. Um, the blower's in great condition. Um, I'm going to include the nitrous bars, not the nitrous solenoids. And if, it, if anybody wants my Pro Max nitrous kit, direct message me. I'm going to sell that as well because I don't need it for the next project on this car. So you might be asking yourself, what's next with the bad cat? Well, we've got a huge decision, decision to make. Um, now, if you guys don't know Whipple, is coming out with their Gen 5 3.0 liter for the Hellcats. That's option one. It'll be probably, like if I ordered it, pre-ordered it now, I'd probably get it towards the end of April, beginning of May. That, that would be my guess. That's option one. Now, I'm not gonna put nitrous on this car. I've just, I don't, I just, I don't wanna do it. And I know people are really successful with nitrous. It's just not something I wanna fuck with. Now, option two is, where is it? I don't know where it is. Option two, my brother David has an extra turbo. He's got an extra intercooler, which I'm pretty sure it's that one right there. An extra intercooler. And I've got one of the best home garage fabricators locally to me, Streetcar Joe. If you guys don't follow him, make sure you follow him. And he just started a YouTube channel, so just type in Streetcar Joe. Those are the two options I have. One, do a turbo kit, which is going to be a little more expensive and time consuming versus throwing on a Whipple, installing it, getting it tuned and going. Now, there's positives and negatives to both. Turbo, you can up the boost just going like this, right? Like if I'm at a shitty track, I can just turn it down. I can change the ramp. I can, I can also learn a bunch of things just like how David learned. Um, 
and you know have a whole series of building a big single turbo Hellcat charger because no one's done just a big single turbo charger. Um, so that's something that is on the table. It's going to cost a little more than the Whipple. A stage two Whipple shipped to my door is like 72 or 7300. I think the turbo kit would probably end up running about, Dave said about 10 to 12 grand. So those are my two options. I would like to hear what you guys think I should do. Now, either one is a good option. Um, the downside with the Whipple is your whoever gets it first is probably going to be sort of a guinea pig. Um, it's kind of like with the four and a half liter Whipples. Even nowadays, people struggle with those uh, Whipples. So there's probably going to be some downtime. Um, with the turbo, it's just going to take a while to build the kit, put everything together, make sure it runs, and then either send it off to Z <clears throat> or have them come up here or whatever and just start trying to figure out how to tune this. So those are the two options, big single turbo or Gen 5 Whipple. I'm kind of either or. Uh, I'm not really, I just, I wanted, I don't know, being a single turbo car would be super cool. Um, and in the Whipple, I mean, it'd be very reliable also. So I don't know, both are really good options. They're about the same price. Um, and that means though, I'm not gonna be racing for a while. My biggest goal of 2020 was to run an eight second quarter mile in this car. I did that like six or seven times. Um, I ran 893 at 157 in like 900 to 1100 DA positive. I'm happy, I'm content with this car. So now I'm like, cool, let me decide what I wanna do. And David's car is not gonna go to 2K, so part of me, I was like, I like racing, but I like racing with people, with my brother, like going out and having fun. When it's just me racing, all as much as I enjoy it, it's not as fun when you don't go like as a group. At least that's just how I feel. Um, <clears throat> so, no Texas 2K this year. I'm not gonna be going at all, and there's a couple reasons. One, we've got flashlight, we have six flashlight shootouts this year. I gotta really focus on those. I'm holding a bodybuilding and powerlifting show at my gym April 10th. That's a big project. I'm working on that with Jake from Sen City. He also owns BMF Nutrition. Um, and then just obviously with the gym, just trying to keep building memberships and keep growing the CA family. And then obviously we've got the clothing company. If you guys want some CA gear, contagionathletics.com, use code KEV20, save you 20% off. But um, those are kind of my options. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Um, again, I'm content with where the car is at, but I want to move on to the next step. What is the next step? Big single turbo, Gen 5 Whipple. Again, I really don't know what I want to do. Uh, and as you guys know, I have that other set of Bogarts, um, which I was going to put on my car. And since my car is going to be down, I'm selling those. So um, Mr. Yellow Jacket himself is going to be purchasing those on Monday. And then I won't have any 15s for the car except for the front, which is fine. It's not a big deal. I can use that money for the turbo kit or the Gen 5 Whipple and then order a set of welds or Bogarts or whatever wheel I decide to use. Um, so, and then, you know, the thing too, I want to like, I need to change the diff on this, which I was going to do, but the weather is super shitty in Dallas. Um, <clears throat> and then the other thing I need to do is get some new rear shocks for this and then change the little boots on the axles. And my car is pretty much good to go from that standpoint. So, um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do. I think a big single turbo, because Joe talked about this a little while ago. He wants to put a, a fat single turbo like coming out of this like section right there. And it would be super dope to have this fucking colorful sedan pull up and go. So I don't know. Um, you know, and it allows like if I want to go faster, I can just go like this. Um, and there's just more controlled settings and I don't have to like bug Z all the time for like tunes and stuff. So there's a lot of things that are beneficial to going to a turbo setup. Now obviously there's a lot more parts involved. It's gonna be a lot more time consuming, but since I'm really never on set, never really planning on selling this car, it would be kind of sick to have a big single turbo. So supercharger sold. I'm pulling it off next week shipping it out. I'll make a video on it. It's gone. And uh, I just got to decide what I want to do. I'm not in any rush. 
because Joe's got a few projects at his house. But, um, you know, I'll probably end up going over there. We'll make a video and kind of talk about pros, cons of both and decide what I want to do. But anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I appreciate you if you're watching. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys stay safe. It's cold as shit in Amarillo. We're supposed to get some crazy ass snowstorm or some shit. I don't know. But anyways, you guys take it easy. My name is Kevin Van Voorst. Make sure you guys follow me at Kellyboykev on Instagram and on Snapchat. I'm out this bitch.